Hello and welcome to Sawmaker Content Calendar Template. This tool mainly helps you to organize and track your content schedule and prepares a calendar. It has three input sections where you have to enter your data. These are settings, standard tasks and custom tasks. Also, it has three output sections where you could see the results of your data, which are calendar, summary and task list. So let's start with the settings. Enter your content type, stages, editors, and calendar year. If you have a standardized routine task where you have to do a task weekly or monthly, use standard task section. Choose your content type, editor, the repetition, and the repetition cycle. Day of the month column will not be used since the repetition is weekly. Enter your start and end date. If you leave the start date empty, the start date will be set as 1st of January of the chosen year. And also, if you leave the end date empty, the task schedule will end on the 31st of December of the chosen year. Later on, cross the days of the week to state by choosing X from the drop down list. If you choose monthly state repetition, enter the day of the month in which the task is always done. Enter the start and end date. Since you choose monthly, you won't have to cross the days of the week. If you have a custom task to add to your schedule, go to Add Custom Task section. Choose Content Type and necessarily Title Name, Campaign, Keywords and Notes. Choose your editor, date, and current stage from the drop down list. Now you may see the results of your data from the output sections. So let's start with the calendar. You may use the filters above to see in terms of month, editor, and task sources. Once the filters are set, the calendar will renew itself automatically. If you notice that you forgot to change the year, you may easily click on the year to get to the settings section. In the summary section, adjust the filters above, like in the calendar section. Once you choose a new condition, the charts will renew themselves automatically. You may see the task numbers by month, task numbers in terms of channel and stages, and lastly, task numbers in terms of editor and stages. Finally, on the task list, depending on the month you choose, you can see the whole list of tasks and their properties for that month. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check our other templates at www.someka.net.